Thanks, Ajay, for this wonderful introduction. You were the one who first gave me my TEDx talk, so I won't forget that. Hello, Khaki Lab, Khaki Tours. Thank you for inviting me here this evening. And, um, you know, the rains are just ebbing in Mumbai. Everyone's heaving a sigh of relief. But uh, I hope it's safe to start singing Malar again. So what I wanted to say is that perhaps in no part of the world, perhaps in no part of the world are the rains as awaited for as we do in India. Now, there was a lovely scene from the movie Lagan. All of us, most of us have seen that movie. So the English team and the Indian team, they are playing a round of cricket. And suddenly the rain clouds start gathering in the sky. So what do the Indian players do? They just drop their bats down. They get down on their knees with their arms outstretched to the heavens, you know, as if welcoming God on earth. And the reaction of the English players, heck, that rain again has come to spoil our play. Now that is, that is the love story of India and the rains. And uh, understandably so, because I think India's economy depends upon the timely onset of the monsoons. So, uh, Malhar, everybody now, I think even the lay listener, even all around the world, everyone knows Malhar is this rag of the rains. Correct? I just explained the word to you, Mal. Mal means the dirt and Har means that which washes away the dirt. So, Malhar. But then, is okay, we know Malhar is the rag of the rains. But is this something that has just been told to us by the ancient sages and musicologists that, ha, rag malhar sunna, listen to rag malhar and you will feel the rain. Or is there really something intrinsic in that rag that makes us actually feel the rain? That's what we are here to see. Because, you know, pitter patter of raindrops on a tin roof, clouds gathering, uh, birds singing, these are external manifestations. These are external manifestations. Indian classical music is deeper, more subtle, more abstract. And in Indian classical music, Malhar is a feeling. Malhar is a feeling. It's a feeling of joy when after a long and scorching summer, when the rain first comes, what is that what is that leap of joy the heart gets so i'm going to show you that in rag malhar rag mia malhar mare pa it's a leap of joy again samare re pa when the rain comes down pag mare sa and as happiness wells up like cloud upon cloud upon cloud, the rain comes down. And there's a myth that Tansin, Mia Tansin, one of the nine jewels of Akbar's court. He was uh, roaming in the woods just before the time the rains were about to come down. And he heard this curious sound that the creatures of the woods were making. A sound of two close frequencies, something like na, 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 na. And that may have inspired that iconic phrase in Rag Mia Malhar so that that for me is the outline of malhar that's the feeling malhar and how about i sing for you a short little bandish or composition in rag mia malhar the words are going to be very familiar to you because this particular composition uh, has inspired a very popular Hindi film song in the, in the movie Goodie. So all of you are going to recognize it. Also what I wanted to say that 
in the Vedas, in the verses of the Rig Veda and Yajur Veda, they were recited with specific musical notes and it was believed that that would encourage the skies to darken and the rain to come down. But now, I don't know how much in touch with nature we are to actually, you know, create this phenomenon, but let's just imagine it. Short Bandish, Indrag, Mia Malhan. Bole re papi hara Bole re papi hara Papi hara bole re papi hara Ab ghan gar je Ab ghan gar je Bole re papi Papi hara bole re papi 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 bole re papi hara ab ghan gar je ab ghan gar je bole re papi kon mon gar I demonstration of Rag Mia Mallar and I was hoping you would catch those phrases that make you feel the rain. Ajay, just a quick interruption to ask if the sound is coming out okay. Yes, sounds good. Okay, that's good. So then I thought, let's take another example of a Malhar variety which is Rag Meg or Meg Malhar. But Meg very obviously from its name suggests the clouds. And I wanted to feel the mood of this particular, this particular rag because it has a different mood. It's, you know, you'll feel that heavy masculine latent energy, the thick dark clouds accumulating in the sky. The rain is yet to come down. So the antip anticipation is building up. It's a very somber, grave and, uh, you know, deep rag, deep and dark. So let's just hear a bit of Rag Meg. Well, there's a story here too actually that, uh, you know, there were some jealous courtiers who were jealous of Tansen and his popularity in Akbar's court. So they decided, uh, you know, let's make Tansen sing Rag Deepak because when he sings Rag Deepak, the, uh, the, the lamps, uh, you know, light up and what will happen is the stage will also be set on fire so Tansen will be destroyed. So I think that's what happened. But luckily Tansen had taught Rag Meg to his daughter. So she started singing Rag Meg and the rains came down and extinguished the fire. So that's the story behind Meg. But just listen to the deepness of this Rag. Just a little bit. <laughs> Hare, Hare, 
of rag meg and i hope you could feel that graveness and potential energy building up uh, to the rains so uh, rag meg rag mia malhar now let us come to the semi classical music or thumri because you saw in classical music malhar was there to celebrate the joy when the rain comes down the heart feels the leap of joy but what's happening in semi classical music or thumri the rain mostly brings pain and the central theme of monsoon thumris you know just picture that there's this naika there's this naika separated from her beloved sitting under the rain was skies forlorn melancholy pining and more than that she's lashing out she is lashing out at the forces of nature the lightning the thunder the birds the dadur or the frog all the forces of nature she is lashing out and saying all of you are conspiring to deepen my anguish all of you are plotting against me so she is absolutely raving and ranting at the forces of nature i want to sing out a few lines of a very famous thumri to demonstrate this lashing out uh, of course it's a beautiful rain thumri sung by begum akhtar called cha rahi kali ghata cha rahi kali ghata see this naika virahini naika ka black clouds are gathering and circling lehraaye hai mora ji aaye and my heart is swaying with sorrow ha main akeli se jhupar ro kar guzaru and me alone on the bed i'm passing my time shedding tears us pe bijli ki chamak us pe bijli ki chamak and on top of that the lightning ah pe aap ढाई है डार्क क्लाउड्स 
are encircling. And then she goes on to tell the koel or the cuckoo. Suneri koel bhavari Oh you mad cuckoo. Tu kyo malhar gai So that's the Virahini Naika and this is the central theme uh, in uh, in the Thumris, in the monsoon Thumris. So now I wanted to come to the reference to birds in our Indian classical music text. The birds and you know all of us are bemoaning this coastal road being built in Mumbai, the felling of trees, correct? But I don't know, somehow this year I felt I heard a lot more sound of monsoon birds despite all this and I hope some of you will give you, you know, some of you will give me your feedback. Did you hear these monsoon birds this time outside my balcony because normally it's only the crow and the pigeon that we see. This time I actually heard the papiha or the hawk cuckoo, the koyal of course and there's something called the Asian cuckoo, I don't know if it's the same as the koyal that we hear. Then the bulbul or the nightingale, uh, what else? Uh, the moor of course, I believe there were sightings of the moor in Malabar Hill and you know near uh, near Hanging Gardens and Kamla Nehru Park, there have been sightings of moor also. So all these, all these creatures, all these birds, the dadur or the frog, all these are so much a part of the monsoon, uh, you know, texts, texts in our classical music. But these sounds are again like a dagger in the heart to the Naika. She's not happy because they are deepening her anguish. All these beautiful sounds are uh, deepening her anguish. So another Thumri I wanted to show that the Naika calls out to the crow, the crow or the kagwa. The kagwa, of course, she doesn't have a good voice. So what she needs him for is to send her message across. The crow is used as a messenger and I will sing you just a bit of this beautiful Thumri, Apke Savan Gharaja, where the Naika is sending off the crow to send her message across. <coughs> So the Thumri goes up ke Savan Gharaja, at least come in this monsoon, at least this monsoon return, she's telling her beloved. Ab ke Savan Gharaja And then she goes on to tell the crow or the Kagava. Odi yore So this is what I wanted to show you, you know, the role of all these birds and creatures uh, in our classical music. So what is the main monsoon thumri? It's called the kajri. Now the word itself is quite self-explanatory. Kajri, what does it suggest? Kajra, kajal, black, dark, the dark skin of Krishna, the dark clouds. So that's kajri. And of course, there's a folk tale attached to everything. 
Kajri is a folk song that was born in Mirzapur in the UP district. And according to the folk tale, a woman called Kajli, whose husband was in a distant land, monsoon after monsoon arrived, separation became unbearable. So she goes and falls at the feet of the Kajmal goddess. And the cries, you know, she cries at the feet of the Kajmal goddess and her cries take the form of the Kajri songs. So, of course, all Thumris, many of the Thumris, I would say, not all, have been born from folk songs. But then later on, they got stylized in the Mughal courts and they became semi-classical pieces or Thumris. So, how about singing for you a Kajri? Obviously, a sad Kajri. And um, it's as if the rain and the tears are in competition. Barsan lagi savan bundiyan, pyare bin lage na mori akhiyan. Without my beloved, I just have no peace. And in this one, you can also feel the sadness in the tune, Raag Pilu. Barsan lagi Barisan lagi Savan bhumbiya Pyaare bin lagi Na moli akhiya Barisan lagi Savan So that's a kajri for you. So keeping, I kept, you know, to the sad theme, but now we have to see why is this, why is this Naika perpetually forlorn? That's going to be your question. So that's what I wanted to explain that this sorrow reflects, this sorrow of the woman is reflected in the society in the Middle Ages, the position of the woman. Because very often the men folk, the husbands or the beloved, used to travel to the cities to find work during the monsoons. And the woman was left for a long time uh, without her husband. Also, there were child marriages. So that was a very awkward phase. I mean, a young girl would get married until she attained puberty or beyond. She would then you know, join her husband. All these were very strange and disturbing phenomena. Also joint family systems and restrictive conditions of the women, men and women sleeping in separate chambers. All these woes and this angst and agony was building in the heart of the woman and came out uh, in the Thumri songs. And funnily enough, the rain was referred in many of the songs as Bairan, which is enemy, which is also meaning the other woman. So the rain is equated with the other woman because she's taking me away from my beloved. You know, so the rain is called Bairan. So now, of course, when I was discussing with Team Khaki, they said, hope you're going to make something significant to Mumbai in this talk. So of course I am. In fact, I'm not uh, an avid walker like all of you around the city. So I googled. I googled to find out which are the best monsoon spots in Mumbai. So can I quickly rattle off to you? 
these are the places i got marine drive bandra bandstand carter road juhu beach wali sea face gateway of india manori creek pawai lake kanheri caves and mud fort or varsova fort these were the places i got so i started to imagine what thumri would fit which place you know let's get mumbai alive with the thumri flavor and marine drive i picture in marine drive a group of young girls revelers out to enjoy the monsoons they don't want the rain to come down too hard they just want the cloudy weather and they gently chide the rain for spoiling their monsoon fun let me give you a little thumri for that very short because i want to talk also <laughs> here it is here it is. कैसे खेलन जय हो सावन में कजरिया बदरिया घेरी आए गोरिया कैसे खेलन जय हो सावन में कजरिया बदरिया घेरी आए गोरिया कैसे खेलन जय हो सावन में खेलन जय हो सावन में कैसे खेलन जय हो सावन में खेलन जय हो सावन में खेलन जय हो सावन में कजरिया बदरिया घेरिया गोरिया डारो डार पे ही डोला डारो डार पे ही डोला सखिया झूलो सब झूला तक तक मार नजरिया रे सवरिया बदरिया घेरी आए गोरिया सो दैट्स अ हैप्पी कजरी फॉर यू दे आर एंजॉइंग द रेन्स एंड देन बैंड्रा बैंड स्टैंड वॉट डू आई सी इन बैंड्रा बैंड स्टैंड आई आई इक्वेटेड विद दोज कपल्स लुकिंग फॉर इंटमेसी एंड सॉलिट्यूड राइट ऑल अराउंड बैंड्रा बैंड स्टैंड सो आई गॉट यू अ गुड ठुमरी हेयर with the koi naika who is once her beloved to embrace her and shield her against the rain just a short jhalak of that bhigi jaau main piya bachaye lai ho protect me against the rain bhigi jaau main piya bachaye lai ho bhigi jaau मैं पिया बचाए नहीं हो भीगी जाऊँ वो भीगी जाऊँ हरा भीगी जाऊँ भीगी जाऊँ पिया भीगी जाऊँ मैं पिया बचाए नहीं हो भीगी जाऊँ बरसन लागे बदरिया भीग जाऊ मैं पिया बचाए नहीं हो मैं पिया दस बैंड बैंड स्टैंड एंड कमिंग टू जूहू बीच माई यू नो इन माई चाइल्डहुड गोइंग टू जूहू बीच वॉज अ रेगुलर संडे रिचुअल and when you talk about juhu beach you talk about rains uh, on a beach and what comes to mind are those kagaz ki kashti those paper boats which make us also nostalgic about our childhood and i couldn't resist singing a bit of jagjit singh's wo kagaz ki kashti because i think nostalgia of our childhood is not better captured than in this song of jagjit singh ye dalat bhi le lo ye shaharat bhi le lo bhale chheen lo mujhse meri jawani magar mujhko lota do bachpan ka savan वो कागज की कश्ती वो बारिश का पानी वो कागज की कश्ती वो बारिश का पानी वो कागज की कश्ती कभी रेत के 
ऊंचे पे लोप जाना घरों दे बनाना बना के मिटाना वो मासूम चाहत की तस्वीर अपनी वो ख्वाबों खिलौनों की जागीर अपनी न दुनिया का गम था न रिश्तों के बंधन बड़ी खूबसूरत थी वो जिंदगानी वो कागज की कश्ती वो बारिश का पानी वो कागज so that's one of my favorite songs too and uh, yeah i'm going to more of the monsoon spots and seeing what i can what i can get in mumbai so what about whirly sea face so whirly sea face the net says for the solitude seekers and for that i i remembered a very nice thumri where the woman of bridge or the you know land in up which is called bridge so the woman of uh, in braj is sitting and contemplating on her separation baithi soche braj bam suna lagi mero dham you know my village my town is all lonely nahi aaye ghanasham ghir aayi badri so baithi soche braj thumris i felt which matched the beautiful monsoon spots in mumbai so again now i'm moving to more happier themes than just our sad and forlorn naika so one of those themes is the jhula the jhula or the swing but we are not talking about the jhulas that you are going to see in kamla nehru park we are talking about the jhulas of the plains you know where there's resham ki door and the jhula is tied on the branches of the trees and radha and krishna are swinging so jhula is a very important theme in thumri and uh, it's krishna and radha's time spent on the swing in the months of ashad and shravan in mathura vrindavan and ayodhya and in fact they have a fortnight long festival you know where these idols the dolls and idols are kept in those silver and gold swings in the temples also and swung and these hindola and jhula songs are sung so let me sing you a little jhula to give you the joyful side of our thumri also jhula dheere se jhula ho jhula dheere se jhula ho बनवारी रे सावरिया बनवारी रे सावरिया बनवारी रे सावरिया बनवारी रे सावरिया झूला धीरे से झूला झूला धीरे से झूला झूला धीरे से झूला बनवारी रे सावरिया 
बनवारी रे सवरिया बनवारी रे सवरिया हो बनवारी रे सवरिया बनवारी रे सवरिया झूला धीरे से झूला हो बनवारी रे झूला झूलत झूला झूलत जीरा डर झूला झूलत जीरा डर लच के डाली रे सावरिया बनवाई रे सावरिया झूला धीरे से झूलाओ बनवारी रे सावरिया एक और so much so that you know bollywood has also uh, you know taken off uh, our thumris and uh, i'm sure all of you have heard this song from jab we met aaoge jab tum sajna angna phool khile barsega saavan बरसेगा सावन झूम झूम के दो दिल ऐसे मिलेंगे आओगे जब तुम साजना हो नैना तेरे कजरा रे है नैनों पे हम दिल हारे हैं अनजाने ही तेरे नैनों ने वादे किए कई सारे हैं सासों के ले मधम चले तो से कहे बरसेगा सावन बरसेगा सावन झूम झूम के दो दिल से मिली सो दैट्स हाउ इंस्पायरिंग आर सेमी क्लासिकल हैज बीन इवन टू बॉलीवुड इन दिस मूवीज सो नाउ कमिंग डाउन टू द स्पिरिचुअल साइड ऑफ द मॉनसून द वॉच या द स्पिरिचुअल साइड बिकॉज एज यू शोड इन योर खाकी टू पोस्टर देर वॉज the you know krishna you saw the idol krishna so krishna has become the icon of the monsoon season and the miniature paintings show him blowing his conch to welcome the monsoon he is also called ghanasham indicating that he is dark like the monsoon clouds born on a rainy stormy night in the holy month of shravan krishna the quintessential god of love and benevolence who has come in the form of rain to shower his mercy and love on the world so that's how it is and all the saint poets have used monsoon to show longing whether it's surdas whether it's meera bai longing is at the bottom of our philosophy just as all the rain water falling from the skies 
flows to merge with the ocean. All the living things flow finally into the shining pool of divinity and longing for the divine soul is equaled with longing for the rains. So just a short demonstration of Mirabai, how she yearns for uh, the rains because she feels her Lord is coming down on the earth. <laughs> So she sings. Bhar se badriya saavan ki Bhar se badriya saavan ki Saavan ki मन भावन की सावन की मन भावन की भर से बदरिया सावन की दिस इज राग गौर माला मेरा कहे प्रभु गिरधर नागर राक्षुल मलहार मेरा कहे प्रभु गिरधर नागर आनंद मंगल गावन की बर से बदरिया so talking about longing, I just want to hum out a few uh, lines at the end to show longing. I'm sure this is a song all the Hindi film song lovers already know. It's a 1964 song, the movie Sanj or Savera. I know some of you have already guessed this. Aj hun aaye baalumar saavan bheta jai Let me take it on a higher pitch one now. If I can. Aj hun aaye baalumar Savan Gita Jai Hai Re Savan Gita Jai Neend Bhi Akhiyan Ghar Nahai Neend Bhi Akhiyan Ghar Nahai Tose आई बार खिले फुलवा मुरे सपने कौन सजाए आज हुने आए बाल सावन गीता जाए Thank you. Thank you, Ajay. Thank you, team uh, Khaki. Thank you, Amrita, for such beautiful coordination before this program. And I suppose we can open for question answer now. Yes, uh, that was beautiful. Um, and there's so many messages coming down, you know, talking about uh, this, how mesmerizing this was. Thank so you. Meera Desai says, beautiful rendition. Uh, you mentioned that Jagjit Singh piece was one of your favorites. And Ankit Agarwal agrees that that was uh, his favorite as well. 
Uh, Farooq asked the question, is hmm. this civil society doing enough to popularize classical music? What can local communities do to popularize uh, the genre? I, well, I'm quite optimistic about the way classical music programs are happening. I don't, I mean, see, classical music is al always going to be a niche audience anywhere in the world. But right now, I think it's quite at its peak. I mean, you see institutions like St. Xavier's College, you know, where the youngsters are so involved in, uh, you know, promoting Indian classical music. So similarly, I feel uh, even some of the contemporary Hindi film music has borrowed a lot from classical music. Maybe fusion experiments are happening, which are healthy because classical bandishes are going out even in an Indo-Western way, uh, you know, to the youth. So I, I think this is, we are doing quite well. But of course, sponsorship is always the problem. So, yeah. you know, people could have intimate baithaks at home, little... Uh, recitals at home and we should keep up educating the audience because it's not just producing more uh, promoting classical music but also creating those listeners creating those listeners you know so uh, that's an amalgam of both the things very true i mean my own personal journey into indian classical was through fusion actually yeah. that's how i started getting into it so yeah that's the point that you make yeah um so, you know, I mean, you you touched on it, but uh, in my question, uh, Professor Javaski, one of the first questions is, there continues, uh, you know, as you mentioned, there a deep link between Hindustani music and movie songs, right? right? From inception, from the time talkies started being made. You mentioned Jab We Met and you sang a few. Uh, any other songs that uh, come to mind from either earlier music, uh, either movies or later ones? Oh, yeah, were... lots. I wish I had made a list, you know. Barisat me hum se mile tum sajan tum se mile hum bar. So those are the very, very old ones. And zindagi bhar nahi bhoolenge o barisat ki raat. So many. I mean, of course, there'd be more in Lagan also, you know. Ghana, 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 ay badra nahi. So, several, not all of them would be using the classical rag. So, you know, you, you just might have lyrics on the monsoon, but we are full of them. I should have made out a list, but uh, many, many, you know, even Naina Barse from Vokanti, I think there are several songs uh, of the rain, which you will find. Yeah. yeah, okay, I just remembered another one. Jare badera beri re ja re ja re badra bheri ja 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 re so not in the monsoon rag but monsoon song so you know the uh, messages are filled with people who have been appreciated so sound ray says a treat thank you radha says this is precious thank you uh, kashmira marfatia says very enjoyable thanks takitos and danishri ji uh, richard bennett says everyone in brooklyn is enjoying this glorious presentation uh, well, Richard Bennett, to... Richard Bennett is someone with whom I've collaborated for a very long time. I hope you will search for our music. Uh, it's called Mumbai Masala, and uh, he has been. He has learnt all the monsoon rags. He has learnt rags, Indian rags, and we have a collaboration. So I'm so glad he's watching out there. <laughs> Uh, Sudha Matthew, even through the screen, the sweet of uh, singing shines through. Thank you for a lovely evening of music. Uh, Rupali Shankar, according to her, when I heard this song for the first time from Jab We Met, I immediately thought uh, Thumri. Wow. Oh, uh, Radhika says, loving it. Thank you, Kaki. What a great choice. Nikola says, ma'am is absolutely delightful. Uh, so Rupali says, at this stage, uh, to Dhanushri, ma'am, and Kaki to say, like, ye dil mangye more. Thank you for the event. <laughs> so um, there's, you know, the list goes on. Uh, lots of people really appreciating the talk today. Uh, common question, I think two people have asked this question is any future live events in the future in Mumbai near happening? Uh, how? What's the best way to figure out where you're going to be performing next? Well, I generally put it out, of course, on social media. It's also on my website. I uh, I update my events and I have a mailing list. So you know, if my email ID, uh, should I just say it out or 
I, sure, why not? Yeah, it's little be on the website. So I normally use then uh, Dhana, which is D H A N A underscore Pandit at hotmail dot com. Uh, otherwise, yeah, that is my main email. So. And perhaps we could also host you at uh, Khaki Lab to do a live performance. One. Oh, I would love physical. Are much better. I'm all wired up here, and I don't know which <laughs> wires coming out. So <laughs> it's always good to have an audience uh, in front of. I'm just scanning through to see if there's any questions, but yeah. uh, I mean, this is uh, a long list of people very appreciative of your music, uh, of your performance this evening. Uh, <laughs> the, the, Darshana says, Dhanashi ji started raining in Bangor after listening to your Meera's number. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I think Bangor could do with a little bit of that in my opinion. Um, yeah. So I think that's the list we have. Um, but uh, Again, thank you so much for this evening. It was wonderful listening to you again. I never get tired of uh, attending your conferences. You always have something new to share each time. So thank you so much. My pleasure. Goodbye, right. everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.